Good day, class. In this discussion of week six, I will be discussing the fundamentalist J. Frank Norris. Norris was a well-known pastor in Fort Worth and Detroit from 1920 to 1950. He would be embroiled in many controversies throughout his life for his sensational methods of attacking sins, sinners, and local leaders. One such controversy was the sermon he gave called The Big, The Ten Biggest Devils in Fort Worth. Names given. In this sermon, he attacked the evils of prostitution, alcohol, and multiple uh, corruption in Fort Worth. He even went as far as giving names of 10 people who he felt was responsible for this. During this sermon, one of only one man he accused of these evils showed up while the sermon was going on. Um, Norris was hooted off the stage when he accused a local newspaper of controlling the liquor interest in Fort Worth. This angered church officials and they sought to have him dismissed but failed in their attempt. This would lead to other attempts like blackmail of Mr. Norris. Uh, he had an assassination attempt on him. Um, things started gradually getting worse around 1926 when his church auditorium was caught on fire and it was destroyed in the fire. Uh, but the biggest thing on that is that he was charged with arson and perjury because he claimed he didn't start the fire and a lot of folks felt that he did so he could get a better, bigger church. The thing, uh, the good thing was, is while he was in court, he was found not guilty on both charges and then he was released. Well, apparently this wasn't good enough for some of the uh, people in Fort Worth, well, the leaders of Fort Worth. So they completely burned his church down in 1929 and no one was ever charged with the crime. So with Norris, he was considered a extreme fundamentalist fundamentalist due to his beliefs that the Bible was the authority and how we were supposed to live our lives in accordance to the scriptures. This was during a time that some mainstream religions were taking more of a modern or liberal view on religion, meaning that um, Darwinism was coming up. Um, some churches were preaching that um, there was more ways to going into heaven other than believing in God and believing in Jesus. And there were some that just felt that Jesus wasn't the real Messiah. But this was during a time when the mainstream of uh, religions were starting to separate even more than what they already were back in that time. Um, he would preach both the gospel and point out corruption of city officials during this time. These events and corruption with the local Democratic parties in Fort Worth led Norris away from the traditional Democratic Baptist to more of a conservative mindset and support the Republican Party in Texas and on a national level. This was because he felt the Republican Party was better equipped, faith-based, and morally than the Democratic Party during this time. Thank you.